Logan Savory last updated 1800, September 18, 2017 Southland Stag coach Honey McDonald keeps an eye on a training session at Rugby Park in Invercargill. In terms of employment, the sports coaching game is like few other. The spotlight hovers over your every move and shines brightest when things are not going all that great. Stag's coach Honey McDonald is living that unique life at the moment. He is in his second year of his two-year contract as Southland's head coach, and it won't be any sort of revelation to suggest the pressure is on. Read more Stags coach says they let win slip Stags wing handed one game suspension the Stags are 0-5 at the midway point of the 2017 mid or 10 cup season and all up Southland has won two from 15 games under McDonald's watch. Coaching a professional rugby team, it seems, could feel like a lonely place at times, despite being part of a group of 40-odd people who are all working for the same outcome. Southland possesses a limited team in terms of super rugby-type experience and quality, but that hasn't eased the mounting public expectation for victories to start to stack up. Southland was better in their 27-17 loss to Auckland on Friday night in Invercargill probably their best performance of the five games to date this season. But the reality is they still came up empty-handed, and the court of public opinion, in terms of sports coaching, deals in wins and losses. McDonald concedes it is a challenge and is aware the pressure is on to produce victories, but he didn't expect anything different when he signed up for the role. It is a bit of a battle. You are only human, so sometimes you walk around places and wonder what is going on. He said when asked how he was personally handling the experience. Sport is a funny thing, especially being a coach. Someone else is in control of your occupation, he added in regard to watching on from the coach's box. That's all right, you go into coaching with your eyes wide open. For me, as long as we are getting better and I can see individuals picking things up, that's how I judge a week on how we coached and if we have given the right messages. The amount of conversations we've had in our room about our team this year, we've been in there for hours. We are definitely putting in the work, we just need to put it out there on the field. In the lead-up to the season there was an expectation at Rugby Southland headquarters that a semi-final spot in the championship division should be the target. With five games remaining those hopes are fading fast considering they probably need to win four games to give themselves a shot. The Stags have two games in the space of five days this week, and by the end of the week their season in terms of a possible semi-final hopes could well be over. They will play Bay of Plenty in Rotorua on Wednesday before traveling to Nelson to play Tasman on Sunday. McDonald acknowledges the next five days are very important. For us, we are halfway through the season and we've really got a job to do now to restore some of the pride in us and some of the faith from the people. That is what we've been trying to do all year. For 40 minutes of most games we've been doing that, but we've been falling away. By the end of this weekend we could have three games left in our season, hopefully, it'll be five games with a semi-final and final. The Stag's depth is about to be tested as McDonald tries to manage his group through their busy period of the season. We've been really lucky with injuries, but we haven't got a lot of personal to call on, he said in regard to that depth. Meanwhile, all black hooker Nathan Harris has been released to play for Bay of Plenty on Wednesday night. Harris has been the third string hooker in the all black setup behind Dane Coles and Cody Taylor. Stuff.